Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. Well, as tax season is winding down, it's time to start to think about next year's tax season. Joining me today is Jackie Christensen from WR Ramsey and Associates. How are you, my friend? I'm good. Thank you for I having me I can't believe we're talking about next year, my friend. Well, me either. Yeah, it's but crazy. <laughs> but this is what you do. But you work a year in our head. Yes. Okay, now things are winding down. What positive things that are, are there for the tax season moving forward? The big thing is the... Um, increase of the standard deduction. They've almost doubled. A Ooh. single is going to get 12000 married couple, 24000 Oh, it's enough to get married. You might want to <laughs> go there. And then um, children, the child tax credit did go up from 1000 to almost 2000 depending on your income. But Okay. Now, can I just ask you one quick question on that? Are these things that everyone should know, or we really do have to come to a professional to find this information? They need to know this, okay. and there, there's going to be a lot of questions okay. because so many things have changed because the exemptions have gone away. Oh. They're kind of th thinking that they're building that into the standard deduction. I like you. my husband and I, that's $8,000 we don't get anymore. Wow. Yeah. Oh, no, Jackie. Yeah. That's not good, my friend. What, this is a negative. Yes. What are the negative things moving Some forward, like you just said? Itemized deductions. Okay. Tax Explain account. that. Itemized deductions are the Schedule A. That's okay. your mortgage interest. Yep. One of the biggest things going away is home equity loan interest. Okay. That's what I have. Okay. But they have increased the standard deduction, so it'll probably make up for it'll, that anyway. It sort of balances right. out a little bit, does it, Jackie? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's talk about how is this going to affect the average family in Kentucky? Well, the median salary in our area is like right at 47,000. Right. The median average person isn't really going to see that much of a change. Really? Yes. It is, um, it gets better as you get higher in your wages yes, or whatever. Yes, 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 yes. I understand. I understand that. Okay, so what about people, and it's funny because there was a lot of tax conversation when it came to families and adults, but what about people who own their own business? Well, I didn't hear a lot of conversation about that. One of the biggest things that they were talking about was meals and entertainment. Okay. Meals, and enter meals are still there for, at 50%. Okay. Entertainment, gone away. Okay. So what do you mean by entertainment? Just break that down. Um, let's say you buy football tickets you take to the ball game. Okay. That, no, what about dinners out for with your colleagues? Yes, or that, that, and that's still the same. Okay, and you know things like dry cleaning and dry cleaning your suits and things like that. Dry cleaning isn't really no clothing or oh gosh. A lot of the look at me trying to get everyone a tax break. A lot of the itemized deductions have gone away though. In terms of the biggest one that I have seen are the working W two people yes. who have to report who report their mileage on their. Schedule uh, A. Yes. Went away. It went away as well. If the if the employer doesn't reimburse them for that, they are going to be out all of their mileage. So employers, as a business owner, yep. you might have to consider renegotiating giving your, your contract. employees I got you. their reimbursements. Okay. I, this is really important. What is the best way to know how all of these things affect myself? What is the best way? How what do we, we know? do what we particularly do Talk to, to our clients? That is our tax software will allow us to show what is going to happen to them in 2018. Really? In my particular case, my taxes are going up 400. But it's because I don't have dependents. Yeah. And I, I'm still going to get a refund. Yes. But you have to be really careful because a lot, everyone's getting increased paychecks because the federal has been reduced in your paycheck. Okay. So we need to really check and keep an eye on it to make sure that you're going to have enough even though the tax rates are down. Jackie, this is just too much, isn't it? Like you really do need a firm like you guys to be able to give all I the great advice and also get everyone to help you now. All the information is being put up on the screen right now. WR Ramsey and Associates, everyone. Website, phone number, thank you. We appreciate you coming My in. My pleasure. We'll be right back after this short break, everyone. You're watching it Midday Kentucky.